Now I like character in the wood. I, I really enjoy working with, uh, with the reclaimed wood because of its character, because it's of uniqueness. When somebody tears down a barn or brings down a building, there is every species imaginable in that, in that old building. I'll go through a whole stack of wood and I'll pick out the pieces that I want. I can almost see the finished product when I see the piece of wood. I know where I want to go with it when I pick up that piece of wood. Because of this knot or this scar or this nail hole or, or this insect burrowing or whatever. And where I place that in the table and how I use that character in there can drastically change the way that piece of furniture will look and how it will present itself in, in your living room. I enjoy more the pieces that have a twist, that have a kink, that don't follow the flat standard width length formulas. So you get two dimensional color contrast that goes with the three dimensional changes. All this is cherry. This over here is oak. And this is oak. These are those old barn wood pieces that we just planed. This is hemlock. This is hemlock. Some cherry here and some walnut. And this is maple. I like to focus on coffee tables, end tables, and sofa tables. Between 50 and 100 tables a year. Um, most of those are people coming to me and say, I need something that fits this window, that's this long and this wide, give or take a little bit. I like to build sets. Whenever I build a table, I typically build two. I will build a coffee table and a matching end table, for example, or a coffee table and two end tables, because I will never build a piece like that again. You want your house to flow, so you want pieces that match. And so whenever I build one, I try and build at least two and sometimes three so that they can be a set. Most of my work, I, I use reclaimed lumber, but I've been doing some experimenting with, with the new wood and uh, it, uh, trying to capture the look of the log that it came from and yet make it into a very functional table. Most of my stuff does have the same species. It's all oak or it's all beech or whatnot. But every now and then I'll put a strip of something that's an offsetting color, for example, to highlight some of the character of the, of the piece. The number one thing that I've been after is keeping that character. I will plane and finish each piece of wood to where I think that piece, particular piece of wood looks its best. I want somebody to be able, you know, that knows my stuff, to say, I bet you Rick built that. And one of the things that I do on that is most of the time you have four legs. Sometimes you have three under a table, under a coffee table. And I want one to be different. One that draws your eye. Um, it's got some wormhole, it's got a twist, it's got a bend. Something that's different, something to really catch your eye and draw your eye to that piece. This is one of the tabletops that I'm making for Sonny's, for Rick Thomas and Sonny's in Nicholasville. It has a more utilitarian finish to it. All of the three-dimensional uh, character has been pulled out and filled, and yet I have the contrast of the different types of woods, the beech and the oak, the hemlock. I first come across Rick's work at the Kentucky uh, Crafted Market and uh, his company, Kentucky Ingrained, was pretty much the first booth I came to. And I looked and saw his work and said, man, I need to talk to you. They're real wood tables. They're beautiful. And they really fit what we're doing. They're a Kentucky proud product. Uh, Sonny's Barbecue has been doing business in Kentucky for 27 years. Anytime we can use a Kentucky proud product to support Kentuckians, we're all about it. We get a lot of compliments on Rick's tables. Uh, the people like when they sit there, they like the feel of the tables on their hands and their arms. But I think it adds to the relaxed atmosphere of our restaurant. I'm not very good at leisure time, so I'm 
I'm a pretty bad workaholic, actually, I think. And I would th say that most people that are in the crafts would fall in that. Kentucky ingrained is, is, is an enjoyment for me. A way to relax and a way to be productive. At the end of the day, I can say I got one more step further in this project. I got a little bit further along. I built this. I've learned a lot. Um, building those tables and having problems with those tables and fixing those problems with those tables. That's what working with wood uh, does to me. It's my hope that, and my dream, that each Kentucky ingrained piece will be so unique that every time you see that piece, you think of a memory. You think of something unique in your life.